This is a plancha plate made by Castilla of Spain. Uh, this has the same properties as all our cookware. Cast aluminium, uh, non-stick powder, bonded into the metal. I'm going to start on this one. Uh, this one's on a little induction hob, a little portable one here. I'm going to pop on a little bit of bread. I'm going to let it cook away. One thing that a lot of people use a plancha plate for is uh, pancakes, drop scones, griddle scones, Welsh cakes. If you like doing bread, you can do this, uh, you can do it on a hob. If you wanted to do something in the oven, this is a perfect size to go in the oven. By the way, uh, I just want to paint a picture here. I have in front of me uh, three lovely platters, and these are what you can use it for. The first platter I want to show you is a fish. And the fish is, uh, is fantastic because fish, uh, a full fish like this mackerel or maybe trout tends to be a bit long for a pan. Uh, so this one here, uh, you can actually do on the hob. Uh, you could get four lovely bits of mackerel on here. Uh, on this one, I wanted to do a range of fish, a medley. I have some plates in the front. I have a little bit of mackerel. And I have three little salmon steaks. Can you notice how much you can get on this plancha plate? A lot more than a standard frying pan. This one over here is your traditional Irish breakfast, a full Irish we call it. Uh, this has got your bacon, uh, this has got your mushrooms, your egg, your tomatoes, 10 sausages. I've worked out, you can actually get about 29 sausages on this one plancha plate. So if you're having a dinner party, you're having friends over, or you're having a barbecue, this could maybe sit on the side of your barbecue on the burner, or you could use this on maybe a little portable bar barbecue as a backup. When you cook on a cast aluminium alloy uh, with a titanium non-stick, you don't need fat and oil. And you're safe in the knowledge that the metal is a lovely even conduction of heat. So if you have this in a small hob, it will spread evenly right throughout the whole plate. This last one, and I'm using gloves for this because remember, this is a hot plate. On the end here, we need to use some gloves. I've got some silicon mitts. You can use some oven gloves. On this one, I have four burgers. I have a little bit of steak. Another bit of uh, salmon on here. I've got my kebabs on here. And I've also got a couple of tomatoes on here. If you were doing a barbecue uh, or a meat, or uh, you wanted to do use this as a meat or a fish grill, uh, these are fantastic. You'll notice over here when I put the pancake on, Nothing but nothing is sticking to the surface. And the one last thing I want to show you is this little bit of cheese. My toast is just about done, as you can see on both sides. If you like lovely toasted sandwiches, if you've ever had a sandwich toaster, they're meant to be non-stick, do a cheese toasty sandwich, you always get a little bit of cheese left behind. With this one here, there's nothing but nothing but nothing will ever be left behind. Guaranteed for life.